We are just so brainwashed into thinking that we should only see a skinny figure with no greys, perfect, you know, we to see a normal human shocks us. Hi guys, happy Wednesday, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, also known as Lose It Like Lauren here on YouTube. Hello, if you're new, welcome, and welcome back. If you know me already, you know, you know, you, you know. So hi, um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down uh, by clicking the red button and give me a thumbs up for good measure as well. So today's video is very, 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 very exciting. It is going to be, I thought of it this morning and I'm like hyped about it because it just dawned on me like a light bulb, like a bad hair. Seriously, it was, it was quite a moment. Today, I'm going to be doing the first series, sorry, the first episode called Hey, it's okay. So on Hey, it's okay, I am going to be sitting here in my office, naked faced, talking about, I didn't even make any effort for this video. Uh, the candle was already on. The candle was already on. In these videos for Hey, it's okay, I am going to be talking about things that us, we, me, you, normal men, women, non-binary people, find that we have been made to feel embarrassed and shamed about things that are freaking normal about being human. And for the last few weeks, as you can see, I've been growing this amazing array of sparklies, as I like to call them. And it just made me, I saw an advert the other day that just said, I changed my hair and it changed everything. And it just made me feel like, it made me feel so many emotions. So today I'm gonna talk about gray hair and the fact that we shouldn't feel ashamed if our body grows gray hair. Before I get into what I'm actually going to say, let me give you a bit of history about these. So my mum, uh, Irene, also known as Connie, I don't even know why I said her name, I could have just said my mum. My mum started going grey at age 14. Now my mum had short, really, really, really dark hair and she got it as just like a bit at the front. Like it sounds so cool, like semi Corella de Ville, but not, sorry mum. And at the time I can remember she said that she felt really embarrassed about it because, not because it was grey, just because no, none of the other girls had started going grey and all of a sudden she had this grey streak at the front. Um, actually, a few of her friends loved it and then bleached a streak in the front of their hair. So mum was like a complete trendsetter, which I'm sure doesn't surprise you in the slightest. Her with her lilac jumper inspiring millions around the world. Um, so yeah, mum going grey at 14, I always knew that I was going to be getting these at some point and I have been growing them slash the multiplying them for many years now. I'm 32 now um, and yeah they are quite, look at them sparkling away, yeah they are taking over now aren't they, they really are. So um, I knew, yeah I knew from a young age that I would be getting them and I did start getting them and I have always 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 felt ashamed of them and like god I'm too young to get greys, I'm so grey, I'm much greyer than all my friends, I wish I could just hide it, hide it, hide it and obviously we have hair dye, we have all these things for a reason. I've been dyeing my hair uh, since I was about 16 um, but that was only highlights when I first started. I think I dyed all of it when I was about 18 and that was like a purple. <laughs> And yeah, have been dying it ever since then. So God knows, goodness knows how I even still have all this hair. It's just so interesting when you start looking at advertising and marketing and how products are marketed. I saw an advert for a hair a box dye, I think it was Garnier, the other day that said, I changed my hair and it changed everything. Let's think about that for a second. That means that she did something about her physical appearance and her life changed. That also means that looks mean everything. And that just because you have no greys, you're suddenly superwoman or superman or super whatever. And it's just so, so, so wrong. And it kind of made me think, you know what? To change something in your life, you need to change something and actually do something in your life. Now obviously I'm not negating the fact that it's going to give you a confidence boost and it's nice to have fresh hair and to feel, to feel more mm. but to think that everything's going to change because you dye your hair makes the fact that when nothing changes apart from your hair you then think oh well I'm a failure because oh, well that was meant to give me that boost I needed to make those changes and maybe go for that job I've been wanting to or da -da -da -da, whatever but 
to change something in your life, you need to change something worthwhile and meaningful. Looks fade, greys, <laughs> greys are inevitable. And obviously physical things make you feel better, but what the changes that I'm talking about, they need to come from inside you. Women for centuries and men also, but women on a larger scale have been shamed into changing themselves. The way marketing works is the fact that you see a woman who looks better than you, better than you, let me do those air quotes, to, wait, they should have been way sooner. You know, a woman with long luscious hair, with no greys, with no lines around her eyes, God forbid. You think, well, I don't look like that. I must need this miracle product to make me perfect, to make me look like that. And that's not what life's about. And normally these products are shockingly bad. So even if you did buy whatever it was, put the anti-wrinkle serum on and you don't see any effects, it makes you feel worse. You, number one, you're out of pocket. Number two, you, you, society now, everything we are as women and as men is based on looks, everything. And when you actually take a step back and realize how brainwashed we all are, it's so, so, so refreshing. Sorry, talking of refreshing, that was actually a really good plug. I need some, uh, this is hot water with lemon, by the way. Where's the lemon? Oh, it's sunk. Ooh. Oh. Never feel ashamed about greys because it's funny when they um, when they describe them in the uh, like touch up adverts. They're like those stubborn greys, those pesky greys. It's like they use so many negative words to describe our flaws that we feel like God, I can't, I can't be associated with those words. And it's powerful. It's it's subconscious and it's powerful and it's damaging. And when you wake up and see the BS that is around us, it just feels like oh. Oh, what am I doing? On TV, on adverts, on social media, on billboards, on uh, in magazines, how many products are aimed at women and at women's flaws? The fact that everyone has something to change, whether you want bigger boobs, smaller boobs, to be slimmer, to uh, have gray free hair, whether to have your lips bigger, less wrinkles, younger, eyelashes longer. There's something for absolutely everything. As I said, sorry, it's year. As I said in my video on Sunday, if we were taught by companies, by the world, that we were beautiful just as we were, nobody would make any freaking money. Nobody would make any money. We'd be all walking around with no issues, absolutely zero issues, being happy, being like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm fantastic. I don't need to, I probably would have my hair, my hair would probably be grey down to here if, you know, our current society, society did not exist. And that is actually a really kind of sad thing to think. But getting back to my hair, it's made me just embrace the gray. Um, Amelia took a photo of me in Jersey last week. I'll post it here. And her camera on her Google Pixel, I think it is, hashtag not sponsored, um, just made my grays look popping. And at first I was like, oh, no, gotta crop it. But then I was like, you know what? No, I, I, I've i become, I will add, I'm actually got a hairdressing appointment tomorrow. <laughs> and it's really weird because I booked it weeks ago before I kind of had like this vision. And now I'm like, I feel bad for getting my roots covered, but you know what, I'm going, I'm going a semi-color change, so it's different, but I'm, I'm more like, and also that's another thing. When you when you're at the when you're at the hairdressers, they say, oh, another four weeks because you'll have roots by then, and it's like that is so much money. Obviously, I'm very lucky to be able to go to a hairdresser. I have dyed my hair with box colours for many many years, but now I go too many too many unusual colours that I just can't do it myself because I've got no idea what it's going to come out like. But yeah, regardless of my appointment tomorrow. So if you see me at the hairdressers, don't be like she's a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm. I just, yeah, I'm changing things in my life as well as changing my hair. So, you know, I feel like I'm validating it. And also, I don't really want to go, but I've cancelled them twice now. So I've got to go, regardless, regardless of that. <sighs> it just, that, that seeing that picture was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so grey. Because you're not, you're we're not used to seeing selfies of women with grey roots. It's just not seen. You're not seeing it. This is why on my social media I've changed everyone I look at. I look at women now, all types of women. I follow, I've started following men as well, like diversity. So when I see a picture 
of a woman with a top which is stereotypically too tight like you can see her rolls at first it made me think oh my god you can see her rolls but like, you should not see that and now i'm just like just it's just normal we all have rolls we all have think we all were just it we're just so brainwashed into thinking that we should only see a skinny figure with no greys perfect you know, we to see a normal human shocks us. The diet and beauty industries make billions and billions a year on the fact that they are monetizing on our flaws. The fact that we are not slim enough. We have too many pounds or fat on our bodies. We have too many gray hairs. Our lips aren't big enough. Our eyelashes aren't long enough. We, uh, so, so, so many things. And let me just tell you, you are beautiful and stunning the way you are. And do not give in to these sneaky, sneaky, sneaky marketing ways. Just this week, do me a favor, open your eyes more. Uh, that sounded really pedantic. Open your eyes. Have Just be more aware. Have a look around you. Have a look at billboards. Have a look at the language they use. Have a look at just things we are all, um, what's the word, exposed to every single day and just just laugh because when it's just hilarious how, how much we've been absolutely brainwashed so, 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 for so long. And it feels very freeing just to be able to be like, It's brilliant, it's brilliant. The thing with today's society is we feel like even if we have something so minuscule like gray hair, we feel like it's such a flaw. We feel embarrassed by it. Like for instance, I, um, not with the gray hair so much, but when I gained four pounds from my lowest weight, I text a couple of friends that I was seeing that day like, oh, I'm really sorry I've gained weight. Of course they couldn't even see it. But like we're so, so, so obsessed with looks that we feel like number one, everyone around us can see our tiniest little flaw that nobody would even ever notice. And we're not focusing on the big things that matter. If you want to see a change in your life, you need to make a change. I'm not talking, obviously, if you wanna feel like a bit sassy and you wanna have a facial or you wanna have your nails done or have your hair done, there is nothing wrong with that. But know that if you wanna make a bigger change, you need to change something bigger, something worthwhile. Looks fade and who you are as a person and what you do in your life is way important than covering an inch of gray. Well, this is about three inches now, but I love it. It's like sparkles, it's like, um. <laughs> I don't even know, but I think it's it's the same colour as this, isn't it? Yeah. So that is all I want to say today on Hey It's Okay. Oh, that rhymed. Oh, that makes me feel good inside. Don't you love a good rhyme? Um, if you have any topics you want me to talk about on Hey It's Okay, comment below. If you don't want to say them in public, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Um, what's happening? So this is the end of the video. If you have any slogan um, ideas as well, because keep smashing, keep smiling, it's just a bit... Um, a bit violent. It's not really on brand anymore, and I feel like I need something more. Something like be be you because you're awesome, or something like that, but not as gay. Something like that. So thank you so much for watching today, mm -mm 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 -mm. and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> ah, that was great. Body positivity is not anti weight loss. Body positivity is anti the pursuit of weight loss, as in your whole life is focused on, I must be my, sl I must be my slimmest self. <laughs> <laughs>